not fighter doubles. First Baja slow pitch yellowtail. So much fun. So much fun, dude. Hey everyone, Jordan from BD here, and we are gonna talk about slow pitch jigging. Admittedly, it's totally new to me. You know, I've dabbled with it a little bit at home on some rock cod and some local yellowtail, but we got an assortment of slow pitch gear here from Shimano. And we figured the best way that we could try it out and really get a feel for it is go down to our home away from home, uh, the Bay of LA and Baja, which is just legendary yellowtail grounds. Oh, Bay of LA does not disappoint. Yellowtail everywhere on this high spot. Rod-wise, everything is designed for slow pitch jigging. The way they build these rods, the way that these rods bend, really, really flexible tips, super parabolic, and all of this is designed to give that jig the right action as you're pulling up, and then as of course as it's falling. So one key that I learned is to match these rods to your jig size. So each rod's gonna have a jig rating and a range in there, and that's gonna make sure that you get the right action out of this when you're giving it that slow pitch movement. So this one here is a six and a half foot grappler, and then they have the game type J's which this is really their kind of best of the best, really awesome, really, really well-rounded for what we're gonna to try to do for that vertical jigging on the yellowtail. So much fun on this game type J. This rod's insane. Look at that, head shakes with the locks. With the reels, again, these are all still specific to jigging. And I'm gonna start out and grab kind of the top of the line, big dog, Shimano Oshia Jigger 4000. So this thing is just an absolute beast of a reel. Got the jigging specific handle on it, super comfortable when you're working these things all day long. Excellent for slow pitch jigging like this, vertical jigging, just a super, super versatile reel. So we got a assortment of sizes here with the 4000 being the big dog. Uh, we got a 2000 as well, and this little mini guy, the 1500, which still has a ton of drag and a ton of power, plenty for what we're gonna be going for. It's crazy too, like how much it loads up when they bite it. Like you feel them bump it, and then all of a sudden it's just like, boom, you're on. We're gonna take these down with us, and then also what we got, and what feels a lot more familiar, especially for us on the West Coast, is the Torium. Um, this one is the 20, which is gonna have more than enough line capacity. Uh, again, you got the awesome jigging style handle, which is super comfortable, really, really good, well-rounded, mid-level reel. Um, good price point, just a awesome, awesome, solid reel. So these we're gonna pair with the appropriate rods, as well as, again, kind of matching all that to our jigs. Bay of LA Yellowtail, pretty awesome. Let's get him back in the water. Catch and release program, and he's gone. I can't get over like the fun factor of this. This is just kind of a small sampling of what we're gonna take down. We're gonna try a little bit of everything and see what really bites. Uh, but we got a couple of the vertical, almost knife style jigs. Uh, their shimmer falls in a couple different sizes, colors. Um, again, I think what we're gonna be fishing is typically about 150 to 300 feet. That's kind of what I've heard as, as far as the zones that we're gonna be in. So. Um, packing like 130 gram to 200 gram. We got these wing fall style jigs as well. Um, this is 130, got the pink color in it. This one looks like it's gonna be pretty good for down there as well. So of course these vertical jigs, these are going to dive down a lot faster and work a lot more vertically. Um, cool thing about that is if we have a good drift and it's moving, the water's moving really fast, we're gonna be able to get down in that bite zone and stay down there really good. Um, and then again, that wing fall, kind of your traditional uh, butterfly style jig as well. Give us a little different action on the fall, see if they react to that. So again, being new to slow pitch, it's gonna be a little bit trial and error and seeing what bites and what we can figure out um, is really the hot ticket out of these. So we're gonna bring the assortment, throw them all at them and see if there's any one particular one they like. You doubles on the slow pitch. They like these jigs. Oh my gosh, these rods are so much fun. This 250, like pink and silver wing fall, it's got that pattern on the back, they just absolutely annihilate this. And you can feel them, they'll bump it when it's coming down. 
so you can kind of feel it and then wind tight into them. It's, it's crazy how much fun this is. Down here, it's like the perfect application. We're fishing 150, 180 feet deep. It's pretty amazing down here. And this is, this is a pretty rad way to do it too. Again, I look forward to, to learning more and testing this out at home as well.